Welcome, this is 49D8 and we're going to talk about beats. So, uh, when, two when two interfering waves have almost the same frequency we hear beats. Uh, beating is a periodic variation in the intensity of a sound, a tone, at a given position due to superposition of two waves that have slightly different frequencies. So imagine sat in a room and there's two fans and they're spinning at slightly different rates. If you heard one fan you'd hear a hum and I'm, I'm trying to show the hum as, as the blue trace in time. And if you turn that fan off and you turn the other fan on you'd hear a the green trace and you can't really see the comparison but if you overlap them can you see how visually you can see oh they're out of phase here and now they're in phase and out of phase and in phase and out of phase and in phase and out of phase and in phase and they line up and they don't line up they line up and they don't line up and they line up and they don't line up when they're when they're out of phase when one is giving you a compression the other one is giving you a rare refraction and so they tend to cancel out and when they they get quiet and then when they're in phase they both give you the compression at the same time they both give you the rare refraction at the same time so it tends to be louder and so it's not that you don't hear the tone you hear a modulation to the volume of the tone you hear a wow, 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 wow. And we can say, well, wave one is basically A cosine 2 pi F1 times T. And wave two is going to be A cosine 2 pi F2 times T. And these frequencies, these F, these frequencies are not the same. Um, uh, just a little word by the by, omega equals 2 pi F. And here, rather than putting down omega t, I put down 2 pi f times t. Just a little by the by. You'll see that in textbooks sometimes. I tend to use omega, but 2 pi f is the same thing. Um, so the combination is this. And if we remember a bit of uh, algebra or trig, then we get this as our answer. And what we see is that our frequency is basically uh, well there's two things going on here one is we have what's called the carrier frequency and the carrier frequency is the average of the two frequencies so if it's a uh, 98 Hertz for one fan and a hundred Hertz for the other fan you will hear a sound which is 99 hertz because it's the average but the second thing is that that frequency will be modulated the intensity of the sound will be modulated at another frequency which is the so-called beat frequency which is simply the difference the difference between these two frequencies so we have the carrier frequency and we have the beat frequency and as I said if it's if it's uh, 99 and 100 what sorry 98 and 100 what you'd hear is a 99 Hertz sound but the beat frequency would be 2 Hertz they have to be careful about uh, um, beat frequencies um, there's, a, there's a number of situations I mean, it can happen, there's an analogy with light. If you're using a machine tool, say a circular saw, and you're happening to use um, a strip lighting, the, the uh, um, a neon tube lighting, the, the uh, fluorescent tube lighting, the fluorescent tube lighting actually flashes. It flashes so quickly that we don't see it. But if the machine is spinning, say, at 50 hertz, and the light is flashing at 50 hertz, then it can look as if the blade of the saw is stood still when in fact it's moving. 
So on machine tools, they'll usually have a traditional uh, filament light bulb above the actual machine so that this is not an option. This is not a, a problem. Uh, so you have to be careful about, about things like this. Um, so let's do a couple of examples. A pure tone of uh, 1260 hertz and a pure tone of 1258 hertz sound together what beat frequency is heard the frequency of the beat equals well it's the positive value but it's f1 minus f2 if you get a negative number you just write down as a positive number because it's the absolute value and that will be two hertz that's the wow 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 at two hertz what's the carrier frequency what's the actual tone that you will hear well f carrier is equal to f1 plus f2 divided by 2 it's the average so you look at this and you go 1259 hertz and there we have it 